Hi team, uh, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to discuss about the L3 customization. So uh, like I'll be uh, doing couple of videos on L3 customization. So where it will help you to start with the basic L3 customization using Java. Okay. So let me start with the basic things. So the first one is first uh, as you know like we have to install the design studio so design studio is one of the IDE where we will be writing the codes in Java and uh, we will be utilizing in our customization so so as part of this what you have to do is you have to uh, double click on your uh, design studio so for example here I'm using the spring tool suit so it will be uh, similar to the design studio so let's get started so the first one is like you need to provide the workspace okay so workspace is nothing but like where you want to uh, store your source files source codes so for example let me try to uh, choose one workspace So this workspace you can choose any one so any path you have to choose so click on the select folder click on the select folder then click on launch so uh, it will take two to three t three minutes to launch the design studio okay so so this is how the id interface will be so here you have to uh, create your java files then uh, you have to write the source codes here so uh, let me try to give quick overview about this okay so this is the id so first what you have to do is uh, you have to create one new project let's say uh, you are creating one new java project okay so you have to give the uh, respective project name for example uh, Teminos ok so customization so here I have created one Teminos customization folder then you have to choose the so by default in our uh, in our design studio so there will be 1.8 will be so it i mean temnos is suggesting us to use the 1.8 so let's get started so then click on next so yeah so once uh, you have created so click on finish then the project will be created something like this then what you have to do is you have to see like this okay. so this is your project and this is your source okay so here uh, the first thing is you have to create one class file for example you have to click on uh, you have to give right click then choose class so before that you have to create a package okay so how to create a package means uh, go to the project folder click on source right click then create package and give some uh, package name for example com my network java routines and you can give 
enter click on finish so here one package will be uh, created that is com my network dot java dot routines so under this particular package you can create the new classes for example i'll try to create one test class okay so click on finish okay so once the class is created so this will be it will be showing like this okay so here you have to uh, write your source so so here in this particular block you have to write your code okay so for example let's say um, okay let me show you one demo for java so how we are implementing and uh, one demo how we will be uh, customizing the java source code into our terminus terminus format for example let's say uh, first i am going to create one sample uh, java class okay so where i'll be uh, printing some data on the console okay so yeah okay so here what you have to do is you have to create uh, the, there will be a main method called public static void main okay so this is the main method so here what you have to do is you have to create an object of this particular class yeah so for example now i want to print some data on console okay So here we have to use one method called system dot or dot println. okay so this is one simple basic uh, java class okay let me save this one so here this star indicates it means you are still working on the source so once you press control s it will save okay so here so for example uh, if i want to execute this class in java so you have you can execute like this click on run as java application okay so if you see here on the console we got the output it's my first terminus java source code okay so let me go in detail now so this package okay so this is the main important thing so this is the package where our classes will be present okay so in order to access our our class so one can access by implementing this package and by extending this particular class okay so once you have uh, once we have created the class like this so let me try to show in terminus how we will be creating let me take let me try to create one new class terminus test class okay finish okay so for example okay now uh, what we have to do is here we 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 don't have the main method okay so because in terminus mostly we will be trying to extend the parent classes for example extend is a keyword which will 
try to bring the properties of parent class to child class okay so yeah let me try to consider this is my parent class okay so i have uh, called this particular test class so okay then what i will be doing is um, i'll be uh, okay yeah okay so this is my test class okay so here i'll try to create one particular method public void uh print customer name okay so you have created one method so this is uh, you remember please so this is my java class so here i am printing it's my first it is let's say customer name method okay save it now if you come to your terminus class okay so uh, here our parent class is one of the test class we don't know who have uh, created this particular class or we don't know about anything but the thing is like we come to know we have this is the api we need to use to implement the logic okay so here what i will be doing is i'll try to override this method okay print a customer name so how can i override means so here click on right click click on source then o click on source then there will be a override option you have to click then here you have to select print customer name okay so if you print like this what it what happens here is like uh, it will try to fetch the same data or you can still like you can so there is a uh, uh, already uh, the default value like it is a customer name but here if i want to override so you i can override with my own data so let's say system dot out dot print ln okay i'll be writing my own so uh, this is a terminus customer name okay so i'll be uh, creating a method like this okay so what we have so here we have done the terminus class and this is my java class so what is the difference here is we don't have the main method in my terminus class in terminus class mostly i'll be uh, trying to implement the parent class so i'll try to use the parent class methods which help us to customize the functionality okay so yeah so for example now you want to find the respective java file and the dot class file of this so simply what you can do is right click on the class go to show in and there will be a options like this click on system explorer so which will open your uh, file explorer then here if you see this one so this is my source okay and if you want to find uh, the class files you can simply change from source to bin it will go to dot class files okay so this is very basic uh, introduction to l3 java as part of terminus so from the next video onwards we'll try to implement the uh, exact terminus implementation so where we will be uh, trying to use the uh, core applications like customer account lc drawings and many more okay so that's it for this video and thank you very much for watching my video thank you